It has been way too long since I uploaded a video on YouTube, but I'm excited to catch up with you guys today and tell you all the changes in my life because it's been crazy. Anyways, it is my birthday weekend. I am a Pisces. My birthday's on March 11th, which lands on a Monday, so we're going to be celebrating my birthday today. I'm really excited to get dressed with you guys and just catch up on life. Let me tell you about my plans tonight. I'm gonna be going roller skating in San Francisco at this place called Church of Eights with my friends. It's gonna be Y2K theme, which I freaking love. I'm obsessed with 90s and 2000s style. So I'm really, really excited for the look tonight. And I can't wait for you guys to see. I need some coffee. I finally cleaned my brushes. These aren't all my brushes, but it's been a long time since I've cleaned my brushes. I'm not even going to tell you guys how long it's been because it's it's too embarrassing. But just know that it's been a minute. So I'm really happy that I'm going to be starting off this makeup look with clean brushes because I feel like the application is going to be mwah, chef's kiss. All right, let's get this beat started. So I'm gonna be putting on this little, every time I put this on, I feel like a little TikTok girly, like get ready with me. So pregame starts at six o'clock and it's 3.38. I've literally had all day and of course, I leave it to the last two hours to get ready. Um, two hours is not enough time for me. Two hours is like rushing, like, for the birthday glam, I'm definitely going to need more time. Oh, shoot. I put the foundation on my hand, but I was going to start off with eyeshadow today. I don't want to waste it. I guess it's being wasted today. Damn. Let me take you guys with me. Oh, I moved, by the way. I'm pretty sure I'm going to post this. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload this video before like the moving vlog but um yeah i moved i have a walk-in closet i'm obsessed but um i have this little drawer here where i keep like all my extra makeup that i don't usually wear on the daily i need to get eyeshadow primer and then an eyeshadow palette i honestly get scared to like try new palettes like i don't want to try a new palette today and it comes out like chalky or like patchy you know okay i'm gonna be using this palette that i was gifted um it's the revlon makeup or sorry not revlon the makeup revolution eyeshadow palette i've actually never tried this brand so i hope it's good but it has the colors that i want to wear today so we're gonna try her out hopefully everything turns out well because like today is not really the day to be trying stuff out because i don't have time me two hours ahead i don't have time i, I literally i'm so slow why am i so scared to do eyeshadow guys i haven't done eyeshadow in so long as you guys know i've been in my natural soft beat era so i haven't done eyeshadow in a really long time it's kind of hard to use fingers for makeup when i have nails on i'll get used to it it's just like when you haven't worn like nails in a long time and then you wear long nails it takes some adjusting i actually did my nails by myself this is what it looks like I use this right here. I ordered it off of Amazon and I guess it's like the dupe for the BT art box or something like that. I'm not sure what it's called, but um, this one is the Miss Six um, like French nail kit, but like the nails are already on there. You basically just have to put top coat on it, but I like to do base coat builder gel because builder gel like helps make it look like acrylic and then um top coat but yeah i just stick this on you can either stick this on with builder gel or nail glue but i use builder gel just because it lasts longer it lasts me about two weeks but 
keep in mind i still have to make some progress with it so once i get really good at it the nails should last like like four weeks i believe uh, what was that that was a weird ass burp okay y'all let's pray this isn't patchy pretty i like this color so i'm using this color right here it's a very neutral brown and it's like perfect for the transition shade i'm gonna take another neutral brown just slightly darker and just go and just put that on the outer edges now i'm gonna go in with this bone color right here oh my god i feel like i'm back in like 2020 when i started doing like makeup videos makeup tutorials and then i realized yeah nobody really cares about makeup tutorials anymore i feel like that was like when youtube first started it was like really popular but nowadays like everybody know how to do their own makeup so well for me personally in my algorithm i get more makeup videos on um tiktok well like makeup tutorials on tiktok tiktok and instagram I feel like nowadays people don't want to watch a long video on like a makeup tutorial. Ooh, this is so cute. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. Very neutral, soft. Basically, yeah, people just want to watch like short form makeup videos. I don't know if I want to do sparkles yet. At first, I wanted to because, you know, it's my birthday, but I'm not really sure if I want to anymore, but maybe I should. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, it's my birthday. I'm going to put some sparkles. And I feel like in the 2000s, like, chrome and, like, shimmer were so in. All right, this is, like, beat up, but I like this eyeshadow because it's kind of just, like, clear with sparkles or with glitter whatever you want to call it so you could literally put this on top of any shade okay i'm gonna just smoke this out a little bit this mascara is the truth it's by hero and make and you can get it at like a um what's it called i like an asian market but I'm going to show you guys one eye compared to the other. It's amazing. It literally makes me look like I have lash extensions. This is like three coats compared to my natural lashes. Like, as someone who has straight downwards Asian lashes, this is amazing. This is literally so good. And they have two types of mascaras. So they have one that's more for length and more for volume. I've tried both, but right now I'm using the length one. And I've been liking it a lot because I do feel like I naturally have like more lashes. So I'm really just aiming to, to lengthen them. And also I look for a mascara that holds up the curl because like I said, most asian lashes they stay down even if you curl them throughout the day they just kind of start going down again this one holds the curl so so well all day like i've literally gone three days with the same mascara and my lashes are up so this is a tried and true like i said this one is the heroin make mascara i can't get enough of it i am literally obsessed I am gonna play some 2000s throwbacks to get me in the vibe, to get me in the mood, to really embody my character today. I've also been loving to add half lashes so I like to take the Ardell Wispies super simple lash but I cut it in half and I use the inner corner of the lash only because it blends 
the best with the length of my lashes the lashes the lashes are doing overtime today like tell me that doesn't look good but now that the eyes are done and i don't have to focus anymore i wanted to give you guys a little life update so like i said earlier i moved um oh my god why does my fucking foundation keep splashing like that i moved here in the middle of january and honestly it was kind of out of nowhere but you know life has a way of moving you literally i do have some moving vlogs for you guys but i'm not gonna start posting it until i have majority of the house done because it's gonna be like a little series but i'm excited to show you guys because this place is much bigger than our last place and i'm honestly really grateful that we moved at first i was a little resistant to the changes happening in my life but life be life in and the universe was like you know what you're gonna move it's just better for you and i was like no oh, because i loved where i was living um the energy there was very fun and i feel like i wasn't ready to leave that fun energy like this house has very foundational like i don't want to say serious but let's just leave it at foundational this house has very foundational energy which is good because i'm turning 25 i literally can't believe i'm turning 25 but anyways um yeah i'm turning 25 and it's about time to make sure i have a solid foundation and the energy in this house is definitely serving its purpose universe was like all right that's enough messing around and having fun like it's time to lock in you're literally 25 which is so crazy to say like i've had so many feelings about turning 25 because like 25 is a big age like i have lived a quarter of a century and i just like I do feel mature and grown, you know, but I just don't feel 25, like, I don't know, I don't know, um, and the past few months I have been MIA on social media because your girl was going through a quarter life crisis, like, I've been looking like this the past few months your girl was going through it um i have been learning a lot learning and unlearning a lot of things it really just feels like i'm going through a rebirth which makes sense because it's about to be my birthday and usually people go through a rebirth before their birthday which also explains like birthday blues and why people just like be going through it before their birthday it's because you're going through a rebirth you're going through a transformation and life has been you know really humbling me but at the end of the day i know it's for a reason because things are finally starting to come together and i'm excited for the future i'm excited to see what 25 holds the big 25 it's so crazy this year's birthday feels so different from the last because last year I was in New York living my best life. Last year was so fun, honestly. 2023 was a good year for me. Um, you know, I obviously with every year there's like ups and downs, but overall it was a really fun year and I'm so grateful this year the energy is very different but i'm definitely excited to see really what i can accomplish this year because i have a lot of goals and plans set and i'm determined to achieve it i'm in my mid 20s now 
that's so crazy to say i'm in my mid-20s now like there's no time to fuck around like i honestly like need to get my shit together and I don't know if you can ever really feel like you have your shit together, but I'm at least going to try more this year. Because I will say, last year, I did not try to have my shit together. Because all I cared about was having fun last year. Which I do not regret. I was like, I'm young, I'm 24, I'm about to live it up. And now, I'm like, I'm 25. Let me get in my grown energy, you know what I mean? I'm still young and thriving, okay? Don't get it twisted. But... Time to lock in. Oh my god. I feel like my makeup is laying so well because I washed my brushes. So, so happy about that. So the reason I was having a midlife crisis was because I was honestly just kind of like comparing myself and I just didn't feel like I was where I wanted to be at this age. Like, you know, when, when you're younger, like, you think 25 is such a big grown age. The closer I got to my birthday, I just started to kind of think about where I thought I would be at this age. And honestly, I was thinking about how I'm not where I wanted to be at this age. But I came to accept the path I'm on and realize that I can't compare myself to other people. Like, I am on a different path. We are all on different paths. And we are exactly where we need to be right now. So if you're going through the same thing, don't compare yourself. We need to appreciate all that we've accomplished. I feel like the past two months, I was in this, like... I was honestly depressed. <laughs> Your girl was depressed the past two months. Because I was in that negative mindset and... I wasn't looking at all the things I've accomplished. I'm also currently unemployed. I do have some projects that I've been working on. I'm definitely making the most out of my time being unemployed, but I think the fact that I was unemployed also made me think about things. Cause obviously when you're 25 with no job, it just didn't seem like the circumstance that I thought I would be in at this age. But not to worry because like I said, everything happens for a reason. And I truly do believe that I was given that time off of work to focus on the other things that I really wanted to do. And I'm super excited to share, you, share with you guys what I've been working on. But just know, just know your girl is up to something. And with this new project, I feel so like passionate and I just love it. I just love it. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. But yeah, I feel like I needed this time off from work to really just reevaluate my life and and what I really want. But by the time you guys are watching this, I should be employed because I got a job offer. Yeah. There's a little life update for you. There's like so many lessons I've learned the past two months though. I don't even like think I could fit it all in this video. But I do want to start a podcast with my cousin soon because... Every time we link up, we are just some chatterboxes and we have really like deep conversations about life and I think that it would be so fun to share that with you guys. So I'll let you know when that podcast comes out, but this year is the year of action. It's the year of action for me. I'm really going to put my all into the things that I want to achieve. I'm ready. Dang, look how snatched my jaw looks. I do miss creating content, but it's definitely been on the back burner because I've been focused on my other projects. Right now, I'm honestly just creating content when I feel called to 
and I'm perfectly fine with that. Like I want to just enjoy making content and I just make content purely because I want to. I feel like when I first started my YouTube, I was honestly like, yes, I was. Yes, I started YouTube because I enjoy making videos, but after a while I was really just trying to like be consistent so that I could like gain subscribers and stuff like that, but now I'm just like whatever with it. Like if you want to subscribe to me, if you want to hang out with me, go ahead, you know? If not, that's fine because this is like, I'm like treating this as my personal diary, you know? Like I just want to document my life share these thoughts and be able to like look back at it even though even though i don't watch my videos back often because sometimes i cringe at them but you know if i ever did want to i'm happy that i can i will say i'm really bad at short form content i love youtube because i just want to you know prop my camera up and talk. I think I'm going to add a little dark brown liner at the end, but only at the end. Who else makes this face while they're doing their under eye? I feel like it gets in there more. What is that? I'm going to add a little bit of like a colored powder. This is like very sheer color, but Gonna add a little bit to like dust off the bake because sometimes I feel like baking leaves a little flashback. Dang, okay. I don't know if it looks good on camera, but it's looking good in person. I ran out of my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and the one size setting spray. The one size setting spray is so hard to get your hands on, but anyways, I'm gonna be using the Shades by Shan setting spray. I would compare this setting spray to like the MAC Fix Plus. It's really good at like melting the powders. Oh shit. I'm snatched right now. Not me applying three different blushes. I mean, this one is really soft. Just kind of using it to like melt everything together. Okay, I'm gonna do MAC Half Red. I can't believe I thought I would have kids by this age. And now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, mm. honestly, I'm in my like anti-baby era right now. Like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for a baby. I had like really bad baby fever when I was like, I would say like 21 to 23, I had really bad baby fever. And now that I look back at it, I'm happy I never actually did anything about it because a baby is not in the plans right now. Um, I'm in my knee era, you know what I mean? I'm just focused on creating a stable foundation for myself. I'm going to use the shade Barely Pink. This shade was perfect. Okay, cute. And then Fenty lip gloss. There's no reason to layer, uh, but I want to. Yeah, Matt is not gonna want to kiss me. He does not like kissing me with my lip gloss on, but I don't care. Does that look cute? Okay, finally, we're gonna do the hair. Let me give you guys a closer look at the makeup. This is what it looks like. This is what it's giving. I'm obsessed. It actually came out so good. I feel like my makeup looks flawless right now. Guys, my hair has gotten so long. Like, do you see this length? 
I'm obsessed. I'm trying to grow it down to my butt. My butt crack. So I got probably like three more inches, four more inches, something like that. I got a haircut like five months ago and I usually get long layers, but my last haircut, I actually did short layers with face framing pieces and curtain bangs and my hair looks so good in a blowout. I've been getting like regular trims, I would say like every like five months and my hair is so healthy. Like this is the healthiest it's been at this length. Like, when I have long hair, it's usually so crusty at the end. But guys, I don't know if you could tell just by, like, looking at my hair right now. But she's soft, she's silky, she's healthy, and I'm so proud because I really just wanted to grow long, healthy hair. And I feel like I achieved it, so I'm really happy about that. Like, I barely have any split ends, it's crazy. So this is your sign to get a trim if you have not gotten a trim. Even if you're growing your hair out, like getting a trim is so important because if you just let it grow out and you don't cut your hair, like the split ends just like build up and then your ends look so like, your ends will look like a broomstick and we don't want that. We want soft hair, okay? We're gonna do a zigzag part. I remember I used to love seeing girls with zigzag parts and every time i wore a zigzag part i felt like a bad bitch so we're gonna embody here today we're gonna honor my my inner child with this zigzag part i felt so cool with a zigzag part all right that's enough saying zigzag part i feel like i'm saying it so much I've literally been in the bathroom all day. I'm so excited to be out, but this is the hair and the makeup. It was like way harder than it seemed to be honest. Like I was struggling, but it was mainly because of this zigzag side part. Um, but anyways, let's get dressed. I literally have my outfit like hung up here like it's like the first day of school or something. But um, I'm going to get changed and then we'll accessorize together. All right, so this is the base of my outfit for tonight. Halters were so in in the 2000s. So I got this from the thrift store. And then I have these low-rise jeans. You can't see it because the shirt covers it. But these are low-rise flared jeans from Fashion Nova. And I'm going to put on these earrings from Amazon. These are so Y2K. I'm obsessed. And then I'm going to layer a bunch of necklaces. Cute. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Then I'm going to put on a bunch of bangles. Okay, I don't know if I want it on both arms, but I'm just going to leave it for now and see how I feel. I also don't know if I want to wear this, but I feel like this is giving 2000s and I should, you know, take this opportunity. Okay, the jewelry is on 10 today. Like, I'm really giving. And then, of course, I got to wear some rings. Okay, I honestly think just one arm with bangles will do. Because I already have like a lot going on, so I think just one is good. Okay, so these are the rings that I went with. And then for my jacket, I actually thrifted this like knit fur lined coat or jacket. And it's so perfect for the occasion. Like it's literally exactly what I was envisioning. So I'm so happy about it. I also got it at the thrift store. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we're gonna be in San Francisco at night. So it's about to be freezing. Wait, shh. I can't, I literally can't. Obsessed. So good, so good. And then this is the bag that I'm gonna wear. So Y2K, like I feel like I'm just so on theme and I'm freaking, I'm living for it. Like, oh, so good, so good. 
Okay, and then finishing touch. Oh my god, please. I need a moment of silence because I look so good. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. How adorable is this outfit? Oh, I love it so much. For shoes, I'm just gonna wear my New Balances. I would wear white Air Forces, but I just gave those away. Um, but I feel like white Air Forces would have been perfect because obviously, you know, that was popular. And I don't wanna wear like heels or anything because we're gonna go roller skating and I wanna wear socks. So yeah, I think my scent for the night is gonna be the Mugler Angel Elixir. It's just the vibe that I want to be in. Love. The only thing is that I wish my hair like stayed back here like this. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, this is the final look. This is what I'm giving. I'm literally going to bring my digital camera, everything. I'm so excited to get some fire ass ticks, honestly. But yeah, this is 25. She looks good or whatever. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I will talk to you guys soon.